Lobos are back in action tomorrow night as uh, this week. Head coach Kevin Stinnett's team opened district with a 54 to 6 win over winners last week. Most importantly, Cisco's 1 0 in district, but more impressively, the Lobos haven't lost a district game in 10 years and 11 months. Dan, talk to the Lobos about their impressive streak. Amazing, impressive, unbelievable, and unprecedented are some of the words that can be used to describe the Cisco Lobos' current winning streak in district play. The Lobos have now won 60 consecutive district games. I think it says a lot about Coach West and, and the program that he built and, and the legacy that he left here. And we're proud of that streak. Our coaching staff, we take it very seriously, but it goes back to Coach West and, and what he did here. And it's something that the uh, community is, gets behind and we're very proud of. It's pretty amazing. I mean, a lot of people don't get to do this, and uh, I'm extremely blessed to be able to be a part of this team. That means a lot to me, honestly, you know. And, you know, as a little small town Cisco, you want all your fans to keep going. You don't want to lose their respect for anything, losing this streak, you know. It was fun growing up as a kid watching the Lobos play. This when they back when they made the state run. We just always wanted to be a Lobo, and now that we're here, you can definitely trust the coaches because they've been doing it for a long time. They've been good at it as it, can, as it shows. And it's just really special to be a part of it. You just want to keep it going, keep the winning tradition in Cisco alive. The last time Cisco lost a district game was in November of 2010. And to put that in perspective, some of the hit songs on the radio back then were Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars, Teenage Dream by Katy Perry, and Dare I Say It, Baby by Justin Bieber. The Lobos will be looking to extend their winning streak to 61 games this week against DeLeon. In Cisco, Dan Booth, BigCountryHomePage.com Sports. Thanks a lot, Dan.